Hi, welcome back to Mathematica Logic. Uh, we're going to talk about the tableau tree or the refutation tree in this video. So, so far we have shown how to determine entailment or logical implication by model checking. Basically, enumerating all possible models or um, looking at other rows of the true table and then check and see which uh, of those assignments satisfy the, um, the, the, the implication. Uh, for example, we can use uh, a language like Python to implement model checking. Uh, for example, it turns out that you use recursion to basically check all possible cases. Uh, it's just a brute force approach. But model checking is an example of an inference algorithm. Uh, it's an algorithm that can be used to derive conclusions or to carry out logical inference. And we saw that in the last few videos. Uh, model checking, however, is actually not very efficient. Um, if you have a set of senses, uh, um, S and it contains n variables or n uh, symbols, then there will be two to the n uh, relevant truth assignments or two to the n uh, rows of the truth table. And so for large n, you know, this is uh, an exponential, uh, and so this is uh, not even possible for even the fastest computers. So in this video, uh, in this lecture, we're going to talk more about a more efficient method of um, of doing this, and we're going to talk about how to use a tree. Uh, refutation tree to check for entailment, for satisfiability, and for validity. So let's actually first begin by reviewing some of these terms. Uh, if P is a sentence, then we say that P is satisfiable if we can find a model M that makes P true. We can find an assignment or a model that makes uh, the sentence true. And then that assignment uh, is a model of P. If you have a bunch of sentences, uh, S1 to Sn, then we say that uh, the set uh, S is satisfiable if we can find a model that satisfies all senses in S, uh, make all of them true. If you have P and Q uh, uh, senses, then P entails Q, or P logically implies Q. Uh, if every model that satisfies P also satisfies Q, and we use this uh, notation to denote an entailment. And then in general, if you have a set of senses S1 to Sn, then that set S Largely imply or largely entails Q. Um, if every model that satisfies all of S will also satisfies Q. And finally, a sentence is valid if it's true in all models. Uh, it's true in all. Um, and all, all, another way of saying this is that uh, tautology is um, is a, a valid sentence. Okay, so those are just review. Um, let's talk about this tableau tree or the satisfiability tree. Uh, so basically, it's a tree of senses obtained from some initial set of senses uh, by applying a s a tableau rules uh, that we'll see in a, in a moment. And the idea is that a rule can be applied to the tree if the top sentence uh, of the rule appears in the tree. And the idea is that you can create these branches that goes down. And to apply a rule, we add a, a branch or branches at the bottom of the rule um, uh, below the, the given sentence. And then we're also going to emit branch lines if there's only one formula be below the given formula. So we'll make sense of that in a, in a moment. So let's uh, let's kind of see some some of these rules and see how this will work. Uh, suppose you have A and B uh, senses in uh, in propositional logic. So here's the first rule: uh, you have A or B. Then to uh, if that's the um, the sentence in the tree, we, we can we can branch out into A or B. And that makes sense because an or means that there's two paths, either this way or, or the other way. A and B means that both A and B has to be true, so uh, there's no branching, it's the same path. We write A and B separately to denote A and B. So so these rules are it's actually very, very obvious why uh, why they work. Uh, and then A implies B uh, means, remember in one of the homework we proved that A uh, implies B is actually logically equivalent to not A or B, and so if you have this in the tree, we can uh, break it down into these components. The goal here is that we have these rules that we, we're trying to break down into atomic senses, uh, simple senses, and then we can uh, use that to, to find um, counterexamples or to, to prove something. So those are three rules. Here's uh, three more. Uh, now these are the negation rules. Same thing as before, but now we're negating everything. So not A or B. So remember that from the previous video, the Morgan's Laws, we can actually bring in the not so that this becomes not A and not B. So this uh, simplified to not A and not B. 
And then uh, not A and B becomes not A or not B. So we have that branching. So these basically come from the previous three. And finally, uh, the inside of this is not A or B. So the Morgan's Law will make this uh, A and not B. So there's that. Uh, so that's how you resolve that rule. So here's the last three rules. Um, biconditional. Uh, so uh, A if and only if B means that either they're both the same. Uh, well, that means that they're both the same. So either they're both true or both false. So uh, A, B here means they're both true. Not A and not B means they're both false. In either case, we have um, a biconditional. And so, so these definitely are a little more complicated, and you basically want to memorize all these rules. I mean, there's no way to do this without uh, understanding and memorizing uh, these rules. And finally, to negate the uh, biconditional, um, if it's not true that they're equivalent, that means that uh, either A and not B, or not A uh, and B. And finally, the double negation rule says that not not A is A. Yeah, those are those are the nine rules that we have to memorize and. It will help us uh, basically, again, break down these um, connectives into smaller components. Okay, a branch of a tree is a path to the tree from the top node to the to some bottom node. Uh, we say that a branch is closed if there's a sentence A such that both A and not A occur along the same branch. Um, and a branch is open if it is not closed. So it's closed if you have A and it's a negation. And the tree is closed if all the branches are closed. Otherwise, the tree is open. So the idea here is that branches correspond to attempts to build a model satisfying the senses along the path, uh, in particular the senses on at the very top. Um, and then um, a closed branch corresponds to an attempt that fails because we cannot simultaneously satisfy A and not A. So let's just kind of see an example. I think the example will clarify all of this. Well, first of all, we're going to use the tree to do uh, one of three tests. The first test uh, is we want to know whether a certain sentence is a tautology or a certain sentence is valid. So to test for uh, validity, we form a tree starting with not A. We want to know if, if A is always true. You remember in one of the previous video, we showed that A is a tautology by doing a proof by contradiction. So this is like that. We start out, we want to prove that A is always true. Well, start out by assuming that A is false, so not A. Then we're going to extend the tree as much as possible, applying all those rules. And if the resultant tree is closed, then A is valid. Otherwise, it is not valid. So again, if, if the tree is closed, that means that uh, all the path, so we, uh, we assume that A is not true, and we found out that all of our path, uh, we have contradiction in all of our path. All of our path give us A and not A, or something, uh, or a sentence and it's, it's negation. And so the, our attempt to show that A is false is uh, not correct, therefore, uh, a must be valid. And then to show entailment, again, it's supposed to have a bunch, a, sen a set of senses. We want to show that S and uh, entails Q. Then we form a, a tree starting with S1, S2, all the way to SN, and not Q. So basically assume of S1 to SN, and then also assume the negation of uh, our conclusion. Then we extend the tree as much as possible. If the tree is closed, then S does entail Q. And the reason is because our attempt to show that um, assuming all these assumptions and the, the negation of the conclusion, we failed that attempt, and so therefore we must have entailment. Um, otherwise, if the tree is open, then uh, we don't have entailment. And then finally, the last thing we can do with trees is that we want to show satisfiability. So you have a bunch of uh, senses. We want to show that all of these can be satisfied by some model. So we form a tree with uh, all of these. And notice here in this case, this is different than the previous case. There's no negation here. Um, this, we start a tree with all these senses, extend as much as possible. If the resultant tree is closed, then the set S is not satisfiable because we, we cannot find a model that makes uh, this true. Otherwise, uh, this, that, otherwise, the tree is open and we have at least one, one open branch. Then that branch will help us satisfy um, this set. Okay, let's just actually see some examples. So let's do the first one. This is the first test. Uh, we want to assume that, we want to prove that this is uh, valid, meaning this is always true. And that makes sense because A and B implies B and A. Right? That's, this is always going to be true for any assignment of A and B, for any model. So we want to show that this is a tautology. 
Okay, to, to do that, we take it and we're going to assume that it's false. So we're going to negate this. So the, here's the first, here's the root of the tree, is that negation of what, what we want to prove. And now we're going to apply the rules to us uh, to, uh, to simplify this. And so, so this is a conditional and this is a negation. So we apply one of the rules that says that, um, so remember the conditional is not, uh, well, if I call this uh, x and this y, conditional says that not x or y. And so when I negate, negate that, then I get x and not y. So I'm going to resolve, I'm going to resolve this by saying, uh, this and not that. So again, this is one of the nine rules that we saw. So what this does is that we basically replace this sentence with uh, an equivalent representation uh, in this one branch here. And so, so now we don't we don't really need this, right? We actually resolved this already. So this is equivalent to this information. So I'm going to cross this out just so that we we know that we already resolved that um, that sentence. So now, um, so this tree has, is still, still the same tree. We just re throw away some redundant information. Now let's try to resolve uh, one of these. Um, we will eventually resolve both. But okay, let's uh, let's resolve uh, say this one, the top one. So this is A and B. So one of the rules says that is you write A and B along here. And again, I resolve it. So I'm going to cross it out. And then to resolve this, apply the Morgan's law: not B or not A. So that's a branching. So not B or not A. So I also want to cross that out too. So again, this is tree. This is the tree now. Notice now all the complicated sentences are now very simple. So we have this path A and B and not B, and or this path A and B and not A. So we have two paths there. And notice that both these paths um, are closed because we have in this B and not B. That's a um, that's a contradiction. And then A and not A. So we have found contradiction, and so these branches are closed. The whole tree is closed, therefore we do have uh, that the sentence is valid. Let's do entailment. We want to show that uh, given these uh, two assumptions or two sentences, we do uh, imply or we entail this sentence. And that makes sense because look at this, uh, A implies B and B implies C. Well together that should show that A implies C. So that's what we want to show here, logical implication or entailment. So we're going to assume, the way we do this, we're going to assume the S, so A implies B and B implies C, and assume the, neg the negation of the conclusion. We want to conclude this, so we're going to negate it. We're going to do a contradiction. We're going to say, well, assume these. Let's assume that the conclusion is false, and see if we can close this tree and get a contradiction. Therefore, the conclusion must be true. So now these are all of our assumptions, so let's now resolve the, each of the sentences. Uh, the first sentence, uh, this is not A or B, so I branch out and I cross out the top. Then I'm going to resolve this one. This is not B or C, so I have to do that for both of the, the branches. Not B or C, not B or C. I cross out that sentence. And to resolve this one, this is uh, this is gonna, this is an or, not not A or C. So if I apply in the Morgan's Law, it would be A and not C. So there's A and not C along all of those all those paths. Uh, and notice now we have uh, some uh, some closure here because notice in this path uh, not A and A, this path A and not A, this path B and not C, this path C and not C. So we can actually close all of these paths. Um, so that means this tree is closed and we do have entailment. By the way, at this point right here, this is B and not B, so we could actually have stopped that, that branch is we can actually we don't have to finish that branch because it's already a contradiction earlier, but that's fine. Yeah, so yeah, let's actually we're gonna see an example now that we can actually uh, close things early. If we can close some things early, we don't have to finish that branch. So we're gonna redo this problem, except that we're gonna do it in a different order. So it doesn't matter what order we do, but sometimes some order is, is better. So it turns out that it's actually better to do. So notice that we did the the branching first, all the branching first. And then the non-branching, but it turns out to be better to do the non-branching first. That way, we kind of simplify our tree a little bit. So let's see how that works. So I'm going to do the same same problem, but now I want to do the non-branching factors first. So again, you have or and and. We want to do the and first, so that we don't have so many branches to work with. So let's instead of doing the top two, we're going to do the this one. For, resolve this first. So this is going to be uh, not a and not c. So I'm going to resolve the non-branching factor here. Close that. 
And then we're now we're going to resolve the branching factors. So not A or B, and then here in this case, um, by the way, we notice here that this is uh, this branch is already closed A and not C. So I can actually let me close it. Uh, by the way, yeah, let's cross it off first. Then I want to close this branch because there's already a contradiction here. And now I want to resolve this by doing. Now I'm going to branch this way. I don't have to look at this branch anymore. So if I do that, then I get not B or C. Uh, and then notice this these paths are also closed. And so this tree is, is notice this tree is a little bit simpler than the previous tree because we did the non-branching factors first. So the tree is closed, therefore we do have entailment. And in the final example, we're going to talk about we're going to figure out how, how to satisfy um, a sentence. So here's a sentence. We want to show whether we want to see whether this is satisfiable. In other words, can we find um, an assignment that makes this uh, true? So the, to show satisfiability, we just keep the sentence the same, just like that, and try to extend and apply the rules. And so this is uh, a a bi uh, a bi conditional. So we uh, in one branch we keep them the same, and in the other branch we negate both of them. So that's the bi conditional rule. Uh, so I crossed out the top. And now I'm gonna resolve uh, each of these. So let's do this one. I want to do again non branching factor first. So the Morgan's law says that this should be not A and B. So I do that and I cross this out. And then I'm going to finish this by uh, doing not A or B. Cross that out. So I basically resolve the left side here. Uh, and notice that um, I have on the left side at least, I resolve everything. So everything is now at atomic. Uh, but notice there's no contradiction along this. So th these are open branches. So that means that we found a way to satisfy the original sentence. So again, an open branch is a, a way to satisfy it. So we actually have two ways here, two branches at least. Uh, it's the same assignment, but two branches. Uh, we also could also uh, resolve this too, but we don't need to. All we need to satisfy something is to find one model to make it true. So here we have one path. So we don't have to do this side. Uh, either we can or we want. Uh, if we want more more models, we can also look at this side. but. I notice on this side now, uh, the way we found find um, a model that satisfies this is to to kind of find an assignment that works. For example, uh, if not A is true, uh, then we want A to be false, and then for B to be true, we make B be true. So here's one uh, assignment: A is false, B is true. We'll satisfy this this uh, and um, this list of a uh, conjunct here. And so we found one branch is open. We found an assignment that makes it uh, satisfiable. And so that's how we do satisfiability. Okay, I think that's basically it for this video. Okay, thanks for watching.